Hello, my name's Mark and I am GK Tutor. And I'm here with Practical Machinist today to look at how we read the Vernier scale. Okay, so I'm going to do some examples in both Imperial and Metric. I'm gonna start off with Imperial. So the distance between the zero and the one on our main vernier scale. Now this is a scale that runs down the body of our vernier caliper here. So in this example, there is 20 divisions. So each one of those divisions is 50 thousandths of an inch and every other division is 0.1 of an inch. So to read our vernier scale, the first thing we need to look at is the zero position on our sliding scale, this bottom scale here. So as we can see, this is perfectly lined up with our one inch. So with those two lined up, we know that the vernier reads exactly one inch because those two lines are perfectly in line with each other. It's almost like it's a solid line going straight through. And that's what we're looking at. That tells us exactly what our measurement is. So if these two lines line up perfectly, then we know that we are looking at one inch. Nice and easy. But if we move that, so it's in between these lines. How do we read this? Well, that zero line there is now on just past our point one, our one inch point one. So we know we've gone past that one inch. We know our first number is one. That's one point something. So we know it's between one and two inches. Now, if we sight along the line, we can see that our zero position is actually lined up just past that point one position. So we know that our second number there is point one. It's still not accurately lined up, it's just slightly past it. So as we sight across the bottom scale there, we're looking for lines that line up. And we can see one here at our three mark. So three lines perfectly up with the line above it. So that means our next number is three on our reading here. So now we have 1.13 inches, and that's what this reads. So to go to two decimal places here, we know we're rounded up to that 0.3 because that line is perfectly in line. So we know our measurement is 1.13 inches. Okay, let's look at another one. So if I open our vernier up a little bit more, we're past the two inch mark here, we're between two and three inches. So that means our first number on our, on our scale here, the first number that we're reading is two inches. Now we look at our zero line and see where that lies on the bottom scale. So here we can see it's lining up just past that 0.3 mark there. It's on the sixth line over, each line is 50 thousandths of an inch. Those large lines are 0.1 of an inch. So we've gone past three of those lines. So our next reading is 0.3. But where that doesn't perfectly line up, we need to keep sighting along and look for a line that does line up. So somewhere between one and two on this bottom scale here, we can see this line lines up perfectly when the one above it. So from that, we can see between one and two there, we are looking at um, 16. So counting along the lines, we can tell that those of those two numbers there are 16 on that bottom scale where those lines line up. So now we know our reading is 2.316 of an inch. So we can get right down to a thousandth of an inch quite easily with these various scales. Now you might think we don't need to use vernier scales anymore now we have so much digital equipment available to us in the machine shop. But quite often you might come across these scales on all sorts of tools and measuring equipment. For example, tool makers, lathes and milling machines may have these scales. If we're using uh, jig boring machines, you may find these scales or micrometer scales on jig boring machines. And quite often we might go into inspection if someone's using the digital gauge, we might have to get an old vernier gauge out of the cupboard to measure the height of our part. You'll also find a vernier scale on most height gauges also. So knowing how to read a vernier scale is really important in the machine shop, even if you do rely on digital equipment. Okay, so let's have a look at some metric examples. So here's my metric vernier scale. And we're looking at, we're between zero and 10 millimeters there. So we know that we're going to be below 10 millimeters and we count all across the lines to see which line our zero roughly relates to. And we can see here that it's eight millimeters. So we know that we're somewhere between eight and nine millimeters within this reading. So our first number here is eight. So as we sight along our bottom scale, looking for lines that match up and line up, we can see just past our sixth division there, there is one right there. So 
If we look at that, we can tell that is 6.2, going by those bottom lines, because there's five lines there, each one must be 0.2. So now we know our vernier reads 8.62 millimeters. So reading metric vernier scales is very similar to reading imperial vernier scales, there's just less decimal places. So let's take a closer look at that scale again. So this is a quick sketch I've done of that scale so we can see more accurately how it works. Now as that bottom sliding scale moves, we can see that they line up onto different lines. And when we see those straight lines going straight through, we know that's an exact match and that's where we take our reading from. So let's start off by looking at this zero line here. You can see that it's slightly past our 0.1 division there. So we know it's going to be 0 0.1 one something because it's just past that division and it's the ones that line up the clearest. Now we keep sighting along the scale to find the next two lines that line up perfectly. Now this gives us the second part of our answer. So now we see that these two lines line up perfectly and this is our 22 position because at the bottom there we have two and each division is two also. So we have two, two, that's 22, that where that line lines up perfectly. So we know this reading is one inch 0.122. So this lesson is part of a measurement course I have teaching you how to read all of your measuring equipment, including micrometer scales, how to use plug gauges and the min max theory of plug gauges and all the other gauges and scales that we come across in the machine shop. So if you want to know more about measure, using your measuring equipment and also calibrating and checking them, head over to my measurement course at gcodetutor.com.